good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones represent physiques of greatness. And y'all know what time it is, man. Hey, man, it's back day. But before I begin, I need to talk for a second. I keep getting messages after messages after messages from these Jimmy Struthers looking motherfuckers, man, telling me they don't give a damn about having no wide back. That I need to post more chest and ab workouts for the guys who don't give a damn about having the wide back. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Don't you know that the latissimus dorsi will make hoes want to ride you like a horsey? I'm telling you, brothers, when you look good from the rear, she's going to say, hey. Bring that dick right on over here. <laughs> but anyway, go ahead and enjoy the video. What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, represent for Zisa Greatness. And right now, I'm about to get ready to go hit this back and biceps. I'm actually going a little bit late, man. Uh, I had to get my... I don't know if y'all can see that, but... I had to get my carpet clean today, and they took forever to get here, and forever to handle business, so now I'm finally ready to go to the gym. Let me show you this new um, pre-workout I was sent that I'm trying today. It's supposed to be good for epic pumps, man. I really want something to give me pumps, man. Here we go right here. Hemoval. Lemon drop flavor. I'm not sure if it works yet. I know when I get to the gym, but it tastes good as fuck. I will say that. And I got some other shit sent to me. Be looking out for like an unboxing video or a video showing you all my new supplements. Keep in mind, I don't like trying a whole bunch of different shit at once. So, you know, you may gradually see different reviews along the month. You know what I mean? Well, anyway, man. I'm about to go to Metro Flex with my homeboy Josh. Y'all remember him from my chest and delts video that day? We had that bad workout with the Denny's and shit. Well, we're about to go fuck some shit up. Y'all stay tuned. Well, I'm over here at the gym, guys. Let me show y'all, man. Oh, yeah, I'm over here at the gym waiting for my boy Josh to get here. He should be here at any moment now. I'm ready to fuck some shit up, you know what I mean? I like working back. To be honest with you guys, back day isn't even my favorite day, you know what I mean? To be honest, um, I'm not going to say I don't like working it, but people think just because I got a pretty nice back that it's like my favorite body part to work it actually isn't, you know what I mean? But anyway... Let's get to it. Y'all stay tuned. All right, go ahead. All right, guys. My young homie, Josh, is finally in the building, man. We're outside the building. Hey, outside the building. What up with it, man? Yeah, First man. First time Metro Flex. About to break my virginity today. Yes, you know? sir. Yo, man. About to get this work in. This place is going to change your life. You're going to love it, man. You even got to bring headphones in this bitch. Fuck it. Got to bring the headphones. Let's go. You'll see. You'll Let's see. Go, the man. place is hardcore. Let's just go. Let's just put this work Let's in, this man. Work in, man. Fuck it. Let's go. Got my BCA's own deck. It's strapped up, buddy. Boot it up and motherfucking suit it up. Getting the smart uniform. <laughs> then getting strapped up for battle. You about to go to war, you gotta strap up. You gotta strap up, man. No roids, just rage. In stoves. Go get about 30 of them bitches. Fucking <laughs> 30 of them hoes. 15 times 2. 30 of them hoes. Let's get this working. Big man, like weight. Like 
everybody want to be a bodybuilder. I don't want to be a goddamn bodybuilder. I don't want to lift this heavy ass weight. Let's go. All right, homies and homets. So as you see, we started off doing some barbell rows for the hoes. And as you see, the reps are pretty low. And the form isn't perfect, and that's because I believe in overloading the muscles with compound movements, especially the back. It needs heavy ass weight. I feel like all that perfect form shit, there's a time and a place for it. I do a heavy ass exercise for overload, and then I do some real good strict form and get some contractions in my back. As you see, I'm doing the cable rows, but I'm repping it high, which means I'm pulling it towards my nipples, upper ab area. That's really going to hit the upper back. If you were to pull the shit towards your stomach, like your navel, that would really target the lower lats. It's all about elbow placement. That's how you target your back the way you want to target it. As you see, I'm doing T-ball rows. But if you look closely, my hands are coming towards my navel. You might see a lot of people pull it towards their chest. I'm pulling it towards my navel to target the lower lats. Like I said, it's all about hand and elbow placement if you want to target your back the way you want to target. Their back has several different muscles and if you want to hit every bit of them, I suggest you try experimenting with angles. Try experimenting with different exercises to really hit all the muscles in your back if you want it to be thick and wide from top to bottom. And like I said, I overloaded the muscles with heavy T-ball rolls, as heavy as I can go. Fuck all that perfect form shit. And then I did some strict form on the uh, hammer rolls to really finish off my lower lats. As you see, I'm stretching all the way down, I'm pulling all the way back, and I'm controlling the weight. All right? There's a time and a place for that perfect form shit. All right, so after all the heavy Rowing movements been done for thickness. It's time to bring up the width. I decided to do some pull-ups I haven't done pull-ups in a long fucking time. If you've been subscribed to the channel I used to do pull-ups first So I decided to go ahead and bring it back old school do some weighted pull-ups Keep in mind this is like my fifth exercise So I'm tired as fuck. I wasn't able to go too heavy, but that's pretty impressive in my opinion My homeboy Josh always been lifting weights for like a year a little over a year, so you know, he's still doing regular pull-ups. He can go weighted if he was to do that shit first, all right? And then we decided to go ahead and do some close grip pull-downs to really bring up the lower lats. If you want your lats to look thick from the front, this is what you want to do right here. People ask me all the time, my back is wide from the back, but my shit is narrow from the front. You need to do some pullovers. And you need to do some close grip pull downs and your shit will look thick and beefy from the front, alright? You have to walk in that motherfucking door sideways. This exercise is real good. It's, listen, this is a pull down machine. Just like the straight arm pull downs, just like the dumbbell pullovers. It's just a different exercise that does the same exact thing, alright? And y'all notice already, I'm not really big on deadlifts. However, my homeboy Josh, he's a beginner and he loves doing deadlifts, so I decided to join him. But personally, I prefer doing rack pulls for back or doing hyper extensions with weight. I feel like that is much better for a back workout than deadlifts. In my opinion, deadlifts are real good for overall development. You know, forearms, lats, hams, and glutes. Quite frankly, when I'm working my fucking back, I'm only concerned with back. With that said, I only do rack pulls and uh, weighted hyper extensions. So do not expect to see me doing deadlifts very often. Unless I go to like Big J's or something. You know, he's a big deadlift guy. And when you go to Intensityville, you do what Big J does. You feel me? Alright, so as you see here, we're done with our back. And like I told y'all, I like working forearms at the back. You know, all that pulling, your forearms are already going to be tight. Might as well go ahead and break them down. If your forearms are lagging and you want those pop pop forearms or those Mega Man forearms, 
I suggest you do this shit right here, all right? And after we did our wrist curls, we just did some reverse wrist curls. This works the top of the forearm. You know, the forearm extensors really is going to give you that nice shape. Really make your forearms look real thick and powerful. And that's it, guys. All right, guys. We just got done fucking shit up. You feel me? You know, my boy Josh over here is lost. I'm tired of the bitch. Got a good ass workout in. Man, you can't complain about the results if you don't put in the work. You can, hey, I said that a long time ago. You can't put in the work. Do not complain about not getting results that you do not fucking work for. Exactly. I'm tired of excuses. I don't got cash. Excuse but you don't even do shit for cash. You're working once a week. You know, I'm fat, but you won't go to the gym. Don't complain about some shit you ain't working for. Exactly, man. Can't complain, man. Can't complain. Right here, I got two scoops of MTS Whey with a little creatine. 5% link in description if you happen to give a fuck. Also, I'll give y'all a review on that uh, pre-workout after I try it a few more times. I have to try shit uh, quite a few times before I give my opinion. So be looking out for that, all right? All right, guys, we're in the parking lot. About to go have us that good old post-workout meal, guys. Yo, that's your Chipotle Mexican grill. Yes, sir, man. I I can smell them burritos out here, brother. Yeah, nigga, that's you ain't never been here before either, huh? Never been here. Your I'm first to, time here, man. Break my virginity twice in one day. Man, that's two new experiences today. Twice in one day. POG has changed your lives all across the world. Yeah, Let's yeah, do it. Inspirational speaker. <laughs> what the fuck are those abs? His ass getting lean. All right, homies and homies. Sorry the music's a little loud, it's a little louder here. We got our post-workout meals. Cause shit just got real. Hey. And here it go, my boy over here. Got hey. that spicy beef bowl. Spicy beef, you know what I'm talking about. With some cheese. Cheese. And that's about it, cheese, rice, and spicy beef, lettuce, and uh, tomatoes and about shit. To get this work, man. He didn't get the uh, guacamole. I'm not ready. And that's what I got. I'm not ready. I got a chicken, <laughs> I got guacamole, and I got some rice. All I got, chicken, guacamole, rice, and you know I had to get the fixings, the little tomatoes and the corn and all that shit. No cheese, I'm trying to cut back on the fats a little bit. And we got our tortillas to the side, Dang. you know what I mean? Still debating if I should eat it or not. It depends how I feel. I feel like eating it, I will. If I don't, I won't, you he know what I mean? He gonna bite it, not eat it. Yeah, you know, it's a, I'm no pressure, no pressure. It's to the side, you know? And <laughs> I got my spartamine oh. ah, with the unsweet tea. Still diabetic. <laughs> diabetic. <laughs> For you hippie motherfuckers out there. But anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the workout. We about to get to our meal. I'll holler back at y'all later. Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe. Hey, let me, let me. For you. Motherfuckers out there, man. Take a day off, man. Yeah, y'all man. Y'all working the nine to five, man. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta let me go, man. Y'all working too much for me. Y'all. Yo, I had a question take before a I go, off. man. Take when do you haters have time to go to the gym? Exactly. Cause man. I be on the computer and I be recognizing some, some, you know, the usual names of, you know, the tro troll names, and they be commenting from sun up to sun down. Take a day off. When do you have time to go to the gym? Y'all yeah, are doing overtime. Man, they must have they must have a home gym. Y'all are doing overtime. They, they gotta have a home gym. Doing overtime. But anyway, man, holla back at your boy. Yeah. Chris Jones. Chris Jones.